Hi, hello students. Welcome back to the English e-learning platform. Dear students, in the last week, you have learned the third lesson that is uh, an ant and a patter. Okay. So today we will discuss the question answers and grammar part of this lesson. Okay. So all of you open the page number nineteen and get ready with the pencil. Okay. So let us go to the first main that is the oral questions. Oral questions. The first question: Name an insect that can fall into an ink pot. So you have learnt in the story. So you have to name that insect. Okay, that can fall into an ink pot, or else you can write anyone. So name an insect that can fall into an ink pot. so you can write house fly or ant or we can say ha huh, uh, next uh, the small the what do we say mm, bee uh, honey bee okay anyone you can write okay an ant can fall into an ink pot so this is the answer for the first question the second question where do you think the lid of the ink pot is so you have to write on your own okay so where do you think the lid of the ink pot is so i uh, i think the lid of the ink pot is lost so it went somewhere else okay so this is the answer for the second question next let us go to the next question that is read and answer so yeah, next main that is read and answer first question what is inside the ink pot what is inside the ink pot do you know my dear student what is uh, there in inside of the ink pot yes there is an insect inside the ink pot so this is the answer the second one what does the insect crawl over so what does the insect crawl over the insect crawls over a white paper okay it crawls over a white paper then third one what does the pattern look like so after the ant crawled over a uh, white paper so it made one pattern so what does the pattern look like a parrot b elephant c tiger so which option is correct my dear students which option is correct so option b is the elephant is the right answer so the pattern look like the pattern looks like an elephant so this is the answer next turn the page page number 20 page number 20 so fourth question what does poo love to draw dear students what does poo poo means a baby bear love to draw so poo loves to draw an apple so when it is Uh, the picture day, okay. So Po loves to draw an apple. Then fifth one, what does Po see in the water? So when it peep into the well, so what does it uh, see in that water? Do you know, my dear students? So Po sees a picture of her own face in the water. So Po sees a picture of her own face in the water. So this is the answer. Okay, then let us go to the next main. That is, think and answer. First one: Why does the insect fall into the ink pot? Do you think? Why does the insect fall into the ink pot? A. It is small. B. The bottle has ink. C. The bottle does not have a lid. So, which option is correct? As uh, as you think. So, the option C is the right answer. the bottle does not have a lid okay so the bot bottle does not have a lid so the insect falls into a into uh into an ink pot so this is the answer option c the second question <clears throat> why do you think rohit keeps a white sheet of paper why do you think Rohit keeps a white sheet of paper. So Rohit keeps a white sheet of paper because 
he wants the insect to uh, to travel over it so this is the answer then third one which color ink do you think is in the ink pot so which color is there inside of the ink pot so the color of the ink is blue okay the color of the uh, ink is blue so as you noticed uh, when the ant crawls over a white sheet paper so it pointed there it pattern in a blue color correct now so the blue the fourth one write down the sentence that tells you that poor draws well so you have to write the uh, write the sentence that tells that poor draws well so the sentence she never uses an eraser when she draws she never uses an eraser when she draws so this sentence tells us that the who draws well okay and fifth one <coughs> value corner it is who is very happy tell the class what makes you happy <coughs> so what makes you happy so chocolates i think uh, chocolates make you happy correct now my dear students also all others you can give any other uh, uh, on your own choices okay then let us go to the next page dear students so here learn new words learn new words okay here let me okay match the words with their opposites so you know that opposite words the words which gives us uh, the meaning of opposite opposite okay so we say opposite okay so tall tall happy near inside down and the side of that far up sad outside short so you have to match the words with their opposite meanings okay opposites okay tall what is the opposite of tall far no tall opposite is up no tall opposite is sad wrong tall opposite is outside no it won't work out tall opposite is short yes tall opposite is short okay what is the opposite of tall short so you all you can you also can match with your pencil okay then happy happy opposite is sad happy sad what is the opposite of happy sad what is the opposite of sad happy okay then third one near so near opposite is far where it is here okay near opposite is far so what is the opposite of uh, near far what is the opposite of far near then inside the what is the opposite of inside yes yeah, straight only is that is there outside inside opposite is outside okay then the last one last one what is the opposite of down down opposite is up what is the opposite of down up okay so up opposite is down so tall opposite is short happy opposite is sad near opposite is far inside opposite is outside down opposite is up okay so you have to keep on practice these uh, opposite words okay now let me go to the next main sorry next page okay then the story time so dear students open the page number 22 what is the page number 22 okay so here 1 2 3 4 there are four pictures so look at these pictures and fill in the blanks with the help of the these words given in this box water thirsty pigs happy stones top drinks pot okay so what do you do with the help of these words so you have to fill the blanks and make it meaningful story okay the first one a crow is very s yes, thirsty you can write this word okay okay let me 
switch on. Okay, you can write this word thirsty. Here, 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 observe here. here. A crow is very thirsty. T H I R S T Y. Thirsty. A crow is very thirsty. Okay. Next. He finds a dash. What does he find? So he finds a pot. P O T pot. You can write this. P O T pot here. P O T pot in the second one. Okay. Then third one. The pot has very little. Let me select another color, dear students. The pot has very little water. So you, you can write water here. W A T E R water. The pot has very little water. Okay. Then the fourth one. The crow. Finds a pile of dash near the pot. So what does he find near the pot? So he finds pile of stones. S T O N E S. That you can write in the fourth one. Okay. S T O T E stone. Sorry. T O N E S. S T O T S T O N E S stones near the pot. Okay. Then fifth one. He thinks of a plan. He decided up the stones one by one and puts them in the pot. So he thinks of a plan. He picks, p i c k s. He picks, collects. He picks up the stones one by one and puts them in the pot. So picks is there no here? P i c k s. That you can write in the fifth one. Okay, p i c k s. Picks. The sixth one. Soon the water comes up to the top t o p top okay t o p top you can write here then seventh one the crow dash the water then what after the water comes up to the level of that uh, uh, what is that uh, top so the crow drinks the water so drinks is there here so d r i n k s drinks the water the crow drinks the water okay, okay. you can write D R I N K S drinks. Okay, then eighth one. He is very dash. So after drinking water, he feels very happy. H A P P Y. H A P P Y. You can write here. Okay, he is very happy. Then you have completed the story now. So now you can read. A crow is very thirsty. He finds a pot. The pot has very little water. The crow finds a pile of stones near the pot. He thinks of a plan. He picks up the stones one by one and puts them in the pot. Soon the water comes up to the top. The crow drinks the water. Then he is very happy. Okay, dear students. Now give a name of your story. So give the title of title for this story. So what you what uh, can you name? For this, uh, the, as a title of the story, you can write a clever crow or a thirsty crow. You might have learned, you might have learned this story in the uh, when you was uh, when you were studying in LKG or UKG class. I think so. Okay, so a clever crow or a thirsty crow. Okay, so you can give uh, either a clever crow or a thirsty crow. Okay, so this is the story now. Now let us go to the grammar part, my dear students. Let me switch on the next page. So, dear students, all of you open the page number forty-four. Okay, all of you open the page number forty-four. So here you can see a an ant and a pattern that lessons grammar part. Okay, an ant, ant, sorry. An ant and a pattern. So, the topic is articles. What is the topic? Articles in that a an a an. Okay. So, dear students, do you know what is articles? Dear students, I think you might have know. Dear students, do you know what is 
articles do you know my dear students so here articles are words say articles are words like a, a, a and the okay that define a noun so what they define those define a noun as a specific or unspecific okay definite or indefinite we can say okay so there are three kinds of articles a and and one more is there the so in the next lesson uh, next lesson you uh, you will learn that uh, article the okay so but in this lesson uh, you will learn only a and and how to use a and and so here read these sentences here dear students hina has an ink pot on her table hina has an ink pot on her table second one it does not have a lid it does not have a lid so here a and an are the articles a and an are the articles so they are used before a noun so ink pot and lid are the noun so we have used before the noun a, a and an correct now so remember dear students we use an only before the words that begin with the these sounds a e i o u a e i o u these are the vowels okay what are these these are the vowels a e i o u so let me um, explain you in detail dear student there are five vowels in english okay so those are a e i o u okay and uh there are 21 consonant sounds are there so we say consonant sounds so let me tell which are those b c d f g h i j k l m n p q r s t v w x y Z, okay. So these are the consonant sounds. Okay, expect this a e i o u. Okay, so those are the consonant sounds here. Dear students, so when do we use the article an? Do you know? So an it is used before the words which begin with the these sounds a e i o u. For example. ink pot is there okay what is the first letter of ink pot e i is there no so i is an a vowel sound so we use before that word an okay it denotes one an means it denotes it indicates one person or one thing okay here there is he ina has an ink pot it means Ina has one ink pot, so an it indicates as a one. Okay, so a also it is indicates uh, indicates as one. Okay, so here an the article an is used before the words. So before the words which begins with a a e i o u. For example, apple is there. So before that word we use an. Why means apple? So the first letter of the uh, apple is a. so it is a vowel correct no so before that word and we must use same as umbrella so what is the first letter of umbrella u u is a vowel correct no so before that word we use and an umbrella an ink pot an insect okay uh, next what is that uh, an ox an axe an elephant an empty box so you must know that we use and only before words that begin with the these sounds means a e i o u vowel sounds okay vowels okay now let me go to the next page okay now match and write so match these words these are the subject helping verbs and articles and objects okay so now you have to match and write 
you have to match uh, perfectly then you can write here okay see here i one example has been given here i have a new bag i have a new bag same as he has an orange he has an orange then same one they have they have a sorry they have they have an elephant see they have an elephant then the last one it has a long tail long tail so dear students you also can uh, match correctly okay i have a long, new bag he has an orange they have an elephant it has a long tail now you can write those sentences here the first one i have a new bag it has been over second one he you can write it. he has an orange so he has an orange third one they have an elephant fourth one it has a long tail have you understood my dear students now let us go to the next main that is the uh, b main look at the pictures and write a or an so here glass is there okay so what can be used before that word glass so glass g is a consonant okay so before that we must use a a glass okay a glass a glass so it uh, denotes one okay one glass then second one <clears throat> dash hat s a hat okay a hat h is a consonant sound okay next dash cat so c c is a consonant sound so before that we must use a a cat a cat we can say a cat so it denotes only one cat okay then next dash tree dash tree so here t is a consonant sound so we must write here a a tree okay then second one sorry that uh, fifth one dash flower so what is the first letter of the word flower f f is also consonant sound so i can write here a a flower then here dash insect so what is the first letter of insect i is it i it is not a consonant sound it is oval so i before that before this uh, letter before this word insect we must use an a n okay a n an insect have you understood my dear students now let us go to the has and have these are the helping verbs of present tense so do you know how to use the words has and have so has is you know it is used he she it and after the singular noun so has it is used after the uh, singular noun for example he has she has it has or farooq has farooq has it has she has he has 
okay then the word have it is used after i i u we they and after the plural nouns so they is the no sorry have is the no it is used after i u we they and plural nouns so i have you have we have they have or manu and shankar have an apple or animals have legs okay or uh, animals have tails we can say like this also so has is uh, used after the word so after the noun or pronoun he she it and singular verb noun or pronoun and have is also used after the i have you we they or else uh, plural nouns okay now you can see here i dash a holiday today so i dash a holiday today so here i we must use have i told you know i have so you can write here h a v e i have a holiday today the second one she dash long hair so she after the she we should use has she has long hair so you can write here h a s has she has long hair then third one they dash a big house so they it is a plural pronoun so we must use here have they have a big house they have a big house okay then fourth one it dash many windows it dash many windows it is a singular pronoun so after this singular pronoun we must use has it has h a s has many windows so this is the today's session dear students i hope you have learnt very well and uh, after posting this video video i will send the key answers of this uh, lesson so you have to copy it down neatly in your notebook okay so thank you thank you very much have a nice day